Hey, it's Alex from Android Central, and this is the next version of Android, which right now is just called Android L. This is the developer preview that's just been released at Google I.O. for the Nexus 7 and Nexus 5. So L is a huge update for Android, the biggest design change since the Ice Cream Sandwich release a couple of years ago. Nothing you see here is final, though. This is a pre-release version, and we're not expecting a final release until later in the year. But there are some big sweeping UI changes and a lot of new important features that we can see in this preview. First off, Android L introduces a whole new design language based around a concept Google calls Material Design. For the first time since Android 4.0, almost everything has changed in this release as far as the system UI goes. And with Material Design, every UI transition is animated, and parts of the UI that were flat before now have depth through this layered approach with drop shadows. Android's color palette has also been overhauled. It's no longer a blank gray and white canvas like in KitKat. The dialer app has a bright cyan background. And the settings app notification pulldowns are now colored in this dark gray blue color. The settings menu itself has been redesigned too with green accents and a lighter background. And when you're using Android L on a tablet, you also get a couple of columns worth of options. And yes, for the first time in three years, Android's on-screen buttons have been revamped as well. You now get a simple triangle, circle, and square for back, home, and recents. The task switcher in L is also radically different. Instead of a scrolling 2D list of cards, you've got a more virtual Rolodex sort of setup. In the final version of L, individual tabs in Google Chrome will show up as entries in here as well, so you can navigate them without jumping directly into the app. And other apps will be able to show multiple cards in the task switcher as well. That's not working in this preview though, presumably because we have an older version of Google Chrome on here, and it's actually worth mentioning that we don't have any of the new Google apps shown in the I.O. keynote here. So the new material design stuff is mostly limited to the system UI and built-in apps like the calculator and dialer. Notifications have been totally overhauled in Android L. The notification pull-down has a completely new look, with easier to reach quick settings that you can get to by swiping down once the notification shade is already open. And there are a couple of new options in here as well. A brightness slider, and this actually works when auto brightness is enabled as well. And uh, you also get notification controls to help you access a do not disturb mode um, if you want to avoid notifications for a while. The new heads up notifications can now pop up over content without interrupting what you're doing. For example, if you get a call and you're using a full screen app, you'll see this pop up window up top and you can continue to use the rest of the screen if you want. You can also see notifications on the lock screen and Android L is smart enough to hide certain notifications if you've got lock screen security enabled. Finally, there's also a persistent cast screen button for mirroring your phone screen to a TV through Chromecast. As with any big Android update, there's a lot of new stuff behind the scenes as well. Google says L adds 5,000 new APIs and also switches to the faster art runtime by default. In terms of day-to-day -day performance, the Nexus 5 and Nexus 7 seem as fast as ever running the new Android L preview build, but obviously it's way too early to judge any of that stuff seriously. Android L introduces a few important security changes too. With personal unlocking, you can set up a specific area as a safe zone and have your phone automatically unlock when you go there. And uh, you can tell it to do the same when it's paired to a particular Bluetooth device, like Motorola's trusted Bluetooth feature. Unfortunately, this doesn't seem to be working in the current developer preview though. Power saving is another big focus of Android L, with Google's Project Volta aiming to let apps be more intelligent when it comes to waking the phone and doing battery intensive things like sending data. There's also an updated battery history menu in Android L that gives you a better idea of how long you've got left. And on top of that, there's a dedicated power saving mode that can cut back on CPU power and background data to extend your battery life. So that's a very quick look at the Android L developer preview. It's still early days yet, and this is just a taste of what's coming in the next version of Android later in the year. In particular, we're gonna to need to get our hands on updated Google apps uh, that use the new design language before we get a proper feel of the new direction Android's taking. For now, that was a promising start, and we'll have more on Android L as it takes shape over on androidcentral.com. Thank you.